I've been testing the brand new ProArt PX13 and P16 laptops from our sponsor Asus for about a week, and holy smokes, have they completely changed my mind about Windows laptops, because not only are they incredibly powerful, thanks to both of them packing the new, top of the line AMD Ryzen AI9 HX370 chips with the best 890M graphics, but the feature set, the build quality, the thin design, the OLED displays, the boatload of ports, and dedicated NVIDIA RTX 40 series GPUs packed in for prices as low as $19.99 for this ProArt PX13 and $26.99 for the ProArt P16. So in this video, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know, including a bunch of performance tests comparing these new Asus laptops to all of the competition. But before we get into the differences in performance between these two incredible Asus laptops, as well as the very different use cases for each of them, since the PX13 has a secret feature you'll definitely want to see, I want to get into all the features that both of these laptops actually share, like the beautiful design. They both have awesome build quality with an aluminum CNC unibody design, and I love this new Asus ProArt logo. They've also got the new nano black finish, which is so much darker than Apple's space black MacBook Pros, and at the same time, they are surprisingly very fingerprint resistant, and both of these laptops are surprisingly almost as thin as Apple's MacBook Pros while packing in dedicated NVIDIA GPUs, which I'll get into the performance in just a minute. They're both jam-packed with a huge variety of ports, but what really makes them special is what's on the inside. They both have the same nano black, which blends in. It looks really, really nice, just matching the overall ultra black theme. Both of these displays are absolutely beautiful with high resolution Asus Lumina OLED panels that are incredibly color accurate with 100% DCI-P3 color gamut, which is basically what makes them pro art laptops meant for creators like photo editors, video editors, and more. Now the ProArt P16 comes with a 4K resolution display, while the PX13 comes with a 3K display, both incredibly sharp for their relative display sizes. But just by browsing the web a little bit or watching some videos, you can see how these displays are so much better than what you can get on many of the Windows laptop competition. And a cool little bonus is that they're both touchscreen panels as well, which you cannot get on a MacBook and they both come with the Asus Pen 2.0 in the box. Now the touchscreen becomes increasingly useful on the PX13's secret feature. It has a fully reversible hinge that can not only lie flat down on a table like this, but you can even flip it back and use it in tent mode like this for watching videos, for example, or you can flip it onto the keyboard to use it in stand mode, which is great for using the pen, or you can of course flip it all the way back and use it in tablet mode, lying flat on the table or taking it with you on the couch. Now, as far as the keyboards, they come with really nice customizable RGB backlight keys that are very clicky and responsive. And I love the exclusive Asus dial pad, which lets you quickly spin to change settings like volume or brightness, or you can fully customize them in the settings to do anything you want, like the default Lightroom options for adjusting exposure, color, and a bunch more. Now the speakers are great on both of these with Dolby Atmos support, but I especially love the P16 speakers with its six speaker system, which sounds incredible. Probably the best speakers on any Windows laptop that I've heard. And finally, both of these support Wi-Fi 7, which is by far the best Wi-Fi update in many years. Now jumping into performance, both of them come with Asus's advanced cooling technology. This model of the PX13 comes with a 65 watt version of the HX370 CPU, as well as an RTX 4060 GPU. The P16, on the other hand, comes with a 70 watt upgraded version of the HX370 and an RTX 4070 GPU. And I'm gonna compare them to the most powerful X Elite laptop, which is the Galaxy Book 4 Edge 16 inch, as well as the best Intel Meteor Lake Ultra 7 165H chip and 
two MacBook Pros, a 14-inch model with the base M3 Pro chip, and then a 16-inch MacBook Pro with the crazy M3 Max chip for $3,500, which is a bit out of the price range of these Asus laptops, but this test is gonna show you just how impressive these are. First up, we have the SSD storage speed with the right speeds. As you can see, they're both over 5,000, incredibly fast on both of these. And for right speeds, you can see that they're beating out most of the competition, of course, except for the crazy M3 Max MacBook Pro, but they're still more than fast enough. Now, moving on to single core performance in Geekbench 6, you can see that the new HX370 scores incredibly well, almost 3,000 points, much faster than the previous Intel, and right neck and neck with the X Elite and getting close to the M3 series chips. And in terms of web browser snappiness in Speedometer 3.0, you can see that these are quite competitive. Not as fast as Apple's M3 chips, which just soar with the optimization with Safari, but definitely faster than the old Intel. But we also tested web design in Figma with this project from 500 Designs, one of the best studios out in California. And you can see here that the P16 actually beat the M3 Max, which is a shocker to us, both around a minute 19, minute 20 seconds, completely destroying the Intel chip as well as the X Elite. I mean, this is really impressive. And then now moving on to multi-core with Geekbench 6, you can see that these ProArt laptops are incredibly fast, even faster than the M3 Pro, especially destroying the Intel and right up there with the X Elite. But where they really start to shine is with Cinebench 2024, which is a much more realistic 10 minute CPU stress test. And here, both of these are doing incredibly well, beating out the M3 Pro, beating out the Intel 7, almost as fast as the X Elite in terms of the PX13, which has the 65 watt version of the HX370. But take a look at the P16, it kills the X Elite and it's getting close to the crazy M3 Max. But then we decided to test Cinebench 2024's GPU test, which also tests ray tracing. And here it does doesn't actually run on the X Elite because that chip does not support ray tracing software right now. And I wasn't able to test it on the Intel chip, but take a look at how much faster the PX13 is compared to the M3 Pro. I mean, that's almost twice as fast, which is crazy. And that's because it's using the built-in RTX 4060. And take a look at the ProArt P16 faster than the M3 Max, which is much more expensive. That is an incredibly good score, over 11,000. And now let's move on to some gaming tests. Let's first do 3D Mark's Wildlife Extreme, which is actually optimized very well for ARM-based laptops, like the X Elite and the Apple M3 chips. And here you can see that the 890M is faster than the old Intel Arc, and the higher end version is actually faster than the X Elite with the Book 4 Edge. But don't forget that we also have the Nvidia graphics. Take a look at this, going from 37 FPS to 97 on the PX13, and from 42 to 116 on the ProArt P16. So going back to that chart, but using the Nvidia graphics and Instead, you can see that they are now destroying the X Elite, the Intel Arc, and the M3 Pro, only being behind the M3 Max by a little bit. And keep in mind, this is optimized for Apple's chips. So a much better, more realistic gaming test is actually 3D Mark's new Steel Nomad Lite. And here you can see that both of these ProArt laptops with the 890M graphics are now faster than Intel Arc, faster than X Elite, but still behind the M3 Pro and the M3 Max. But once again, gaming is meant to be used with the dedicated graphics. So take a look at this huge performance improvement up to 64 FPS for the PX13 and 79.8 for the P16. So going back to that comparison, you can see that the P16 with the 4070 is now beating out the much more expensive M3 Max. So as you can see with all that performance testing, 
The much less expensive ProArt P16 holds up incredibly well compared to the M3 Max MacBook Pro, even beating it out in tasks like ray tracing and gaming with the RTX 4070, especially since it uses the brand new super snappy AMD HX370, which is an x86 chip with Windows software, which means that it can actually play tons of games compared to the MacBook Pro, which is incredibly limited due to Mac OS. And as for the PX13, for $19.99, this offers an incredible value, completely destroying the other lower priced laptops we tested in most of the tasks, and especially in terms of graphics, thanks to the RTX 4060. But overall, I'm extremely impressed with what Ace was able to achieve with these two pro art laptops, giving you the best of basically all worlds. So with that said, if you're interested in either of these pro art laptops, you can check them out by using the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.